Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to a crash course video on Audacity. Let's get started right away. You can install Audacity at audacityteam.org and downloading it for your own device. You should download the standard installer plus an extra plugin, the LAME MP3 encoder. Due to software patents, Audacity is not allowed to export MP3s, so it must use the LAME MP3 encoder to do so. After installing Audacity and the LAME MP3 encoder, you can get started with editing your audio. You can get started right away by recording audio directly into Audacity by pressing the R key or the record button. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. You can stop recording by pressing the yellow square button. We have a couple options for playback. Pressing the space bar plays it from the playhead. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. And pressing P will pause and play. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. You can also include external audio by importing it into your project. Here I included intro music to my podcast. Now let's get down to editing. Many of the editing features within Audacity resemble a typical word processor. We can select by clicking or clicking and dragging. We can copy, paste, snip, delete, and undo. The basic tools that are more specific to Audacity include the envelope tool, zoom tool, and time shift tool. The time shift tool allows you to change where tracks are played in relation to one another. The zoom tool can help you see audio waves more closely, and we can also split and join tracks to manipulate specific parts of our audio clips. If you're attempting to make a podcast like the one I am here, there are a couple of basic effects that are good to know. Mainly the fade in and fade out tools working in coincidence with the envelope tool. Let's listen to what we have so far. Hi, I'm Chris Rina, and welcome to my big podcast. The music is a bit loud, so let's help the transition with the envelope tool. You can click to create a new edit point and drag these points to change the volume of the audio wave. Let's see how it sounds now. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. After some editing, let's see how this sounds. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. That might make a good intro. But say we wanted to end right here. Let's use that effect we were talking about, fade out. You can select the portion of the track you want to fade out, go to effect, hit fade out, and it will do it automatically for you. To clean it up, we can delete and listen. It was a little bit abrupt, so we can redo our changes and fade it out over a longer distance. Here's the final product. Hi, I'm Chris Ringham, and welcome to my fake podcast. So you want to save your project and come back to it later. You can go under File and save it as an Audacity project. If you're done with the project, you can export it and choose the format you'd like. That was a quick crash course on the basics of Audacity. Thanks for joining me.